That's right. Football is the beautiful game. And a big part of that is the passion. But what happens when violence and hate are confused with passion? In FC Barcelona and Real Madrid, some groups took this passion a bit too far. Here are five ultra groups that have been banned from their own stadium. FC Barcelona's core values are respect, humility, and teamwork. Their ultras are the negative reflection of the Blaugranas. The Boixos Noise are Barcelona's ultras. Their name means crazy boys in Catalan. The group was formed in the 1980s by leftist skinheads inspired by English hooligans. They would sing louder, cheer harder, and create an intimidating atmosphere at Camp No. But with time, the group changed its ideals. Now these ultras stand for racism, fascism, and sexism. Singing, no, we won't repeat their words. Their message is too hateful to say out loud. Boixos enjoyed their link to the club until Laporta took presidency. He kicked them out and not a single one of them is allowed in the stadium. But that hasn't stopped the violence. Most banned ultra groups go to home and away matches just to pick fights. Football is not important to them. Ultra Sur are a Real Madrid group. All the respect Real Madrid has won on the pitch is lost when talking about their most radical fans. These neo-Nazis have been involved in drug deals, sexual assault, and murder. When two separate factions of Ultra Sur started a turf war, Florentino Perez chased them down. Real Madrid has kicked out any ticket holder with a criminal record, relocated the rest to the upper stages of the Bernabeu, and banned more than three recognized ultras from sitting together. There have been isolated incidents through the years, but Ultra Sur lost its force, and its leaders are all in jail. South American ultras are called Beras Bravas. Violence between them is so crude that away fans aren't permitted in the Argentinian league. River Plate have kicked out their Barras entirely. In 2018, River and Boca had to play the second leg of the Copa Libertadores final in the monumental River Stadium. But when Boca were arriving, the questionable police escort gave the Barras the perfect window to attack their bus with stones and glass bottles. Two players were injured, which forced the Copa Libertadores final to be played in Madrid and River's president to ban the Barras from ever setting foot in the club again. The birthplace of ultras is England. No other firm is more famous than Millwall's Bushwhackers. Nobody likes us, we don't care. Their battle cry is also the truth. Millwall's reputation outside the stadium has become bigger than their reputation on the pitch. In spite of playing in the championship, they have the third highest record in England for banned fans. 57 banning orders. That's more than Liverpool, Manchester United, and Arsenal. Italian football is facing a war against racism. Mario Balotelli was in the spotlight during Brescia's loss to Verona. He was racially abused. The local supporters directed monkey chants at him. Jake Smith, can't believe this is still happening in 2019. Hashtag no room for racism. Balotelli could never be completely Italian, said Luca Castellini, the head of Verona's ultras. Disgusting. Castellini has been banned from the stadium until 2030. In 2016, PSG welcomed their ultras back after a six-year ban. The ultras are a necessary evil for the French champions. They are not known as the 12th man for nothing. In the past, opponents were often more scared of the intimidating atmosphere created by the ultras than the team itself. These days, PSG have strong players, but no ultras. PSG ultras were exiled after the death of one of their fans. His killers were identified, tried, and convicted. Now, the ultras are back at the Parc des Princes to try and give the Parisians the edge they lack. 
because football fans can be the very difference between winning and losing. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.